What do you not like about Reddit and why? How people defend or applaud treating others badly just because their opinion is different than theirs. Best example I can come up with is. Comments supporting violence because they don't like what someone else says or does. Yesterday is saw a thread in which there was a video where a white male was burning a Quran. He was assaulted by three men passing by for doing so. Tons of PPL saying he deserved to be assaulted. Ah. No he didn't deserve to be beat up. Burning the book is not cool. But shit kicking someone for it is way worse. It's not rare on Reddit to see support of violence as an answer for disagreement. It's populated with kids who have no idea what they're talking about and are unwilling to think critically or acknowledge different perspectives. There's no intelligent conversation or debate because anyone who isn't on the Reddit political bandwagon is insulted and downvoted out of visibility. So now for me. It's just a place to look at cute pictures of dogs and reminisce about things I remember from the 80s. The very nature of this forum attracts lonely, embittered people who feel like underappreciated geniuses and boost their egos by just acting like petulant, childish jackasses. They feel others have isolated them, not befriending them, not dating them, not allowing them to work at their jobs how they wish. In reality, however, their isolation is self-imposed. The more they interface with humanity and perform the normal tasks that would be expected of them, the more exposed they are to the evidence that they are not the intellectual giants they think. So they retreat. Thus they require the anonymous echo chamber that Reddit can be to sustain their fantasy and further distance them from humanity. Redditmen who thought they would be forever alone but found love eventually. How did you do that? Read other comments. How the fuck does it work? Because I never cared about it. And before summer 2021 I didn't even have a kiss. Ironically, it happened when I stopped caring. I had just joined the military. And right before I got to my first base, a girl had broken my heart, I was her side piece. Should have seen it coming. But when she did that, it kind of broke a part of me. I just didn't care anymore. I didn't care about finding someone. I didn't care about having a girl be girlfriend or wife material. Because of this, I went into my interactions with women with a confidence and nonchalant attitude. And that ended up being the personality adjustment I needed. I met my future wife not too long afterward dated and failed many times and never took it to heart but rather learned to know what I want in a companion. There's a lot of self-realization that occurs during dating and feelings you go through which you either like or want to avoid. From the experiences you learn to watch for flags in a mate which tell you immediately to GTFO and others that are attractive. There's no easy answer op. Could never form a bond with women. Could get laid. Could make friendships. But the spark was never there that made me feel I could talk and be around this person forever and quat. Then one day I hooked up with a girl, literal booty call. Had never met and afterwards realized we talked for hours about science, philosophy, music, art etc. Once we were done the deed, went out a couple more times and fell fast. We've been seeing each other almost a year now, with some rocky patches, but feel better than ever about everything right now and love her to death. So basically I specifically gave up on relationships, tried to be a hoe, and found a relationship. Day who lives single own a double bed and roll up part of the sheets and hug it as if it's a person? I sleep in a race car bed with my wife. Get a body pillow. It's so much better. I use pillows. It's just more comfortable snuggling something. I do that too. I think it's the first two. I have a queen size bed. I sleep diagonal. They feel guilty when they get sick? Hell no. As much as being sick sucks. It's the only time I get to sleep and relax. If it's a lot of guilt, that might be a sign that you're a little too giving. One of my friends told me that guilt tells us about our morals and values. And thinking about that has actually been super helpful while trying to figure out my emotions. Yeah. I mean... I had a cold once and decided to go and play free fire on blue stacks with my friends and we ended up losing because of me and I felt guilty for a long time that if I hadn't got sick we would have won lol. I'm 39 weeks pregnant and feel like I'm not pulling my weight with our child and doing my share of keeping the house clean. Then I remember that I was hospitalized two days ago as a result of low iron. What can you do? Yes. Absolutely. It's called having empathy for others around you. We feel bad that they are burdened by you not able to function 100%. If these people are loved ones. They don't mind and you would do the same. However, the guilt does not just magically disappear. Yes, struggle asking for help and would rather do everything myself. Don't want to burden people and feel like I'm letting my coworkers down. Now that I'm getting older the work thing has gotten a little better since I know now I'm the only person at my job that does not have a backup and everything will be waiting for me when I get back. I've often felt this way but on days I'm not sick I know I pull my weight at home. And I've found if I don't rest and give my body what it needs to heal. The sickness drags on. I'd rather have a couple of days I'm down and out over a week. Also I'm 23 weeks pregnant and I'm trying to let my husband take the lead more since once baby is here I'll need to take time to rest and recover. Doesn't always feel natural to let someone else pull more of the weight but when you do let them they can surprise you. And it can help you. How did ending your relationship on a gut feeling work out for you? I ended it after the first date. He made snide remarks about my personality and high standards and I felt violated. So I ended it immediately. And he seemed to accept this surprisingly well. Never ignore your intuition. Learn to read it as soon as possible. If someone makes you uncomfortable. 
There's a good reason for it. Won't be typing something really long. But I had a gut feeling about my ex cheating on me just broke up and bam two years later I realized she was cheating on me six months before breakup. So it worked out somehow lol it's kinda sad. I just wasn't feeling right about the relationship. And despite claiming to be in love with me and devastated about the breakup. He began dating someone else a week after I left him and they were engaged four months after that. I think I'd been strung along the whole time so dodged a massive bullet. He broke up with me after a year and a half. Don't regret it but wouldn't do it again. I guess it's normal with your first love. Love is indeed meant to be a slow burn. So I don't chastise myself about it but defo I've learned from it. Still, it was mostly a good time. We're still friends. It's good. From the start of my last relationship some small things just didn't feel right. As time went on those nagging thoughts in my mind got stronger. But I had no hard evidence of wrongdoing to leave so that made it difficult to walk away not knowing if I was making a mistake. I ended up walking away about 8 months into the relationship on just my gut feeling and instinct. About a month later he got arrested for robbing a worker at a convenience store. I found out through a mutual friend that he was using drugs and alcohol quite frequently for the past several years. He did a fairly decent job hiding it from me apparently. But I could sense something just wasn't right. I'm learning to always trust my gut now.